this video, we're gonna be giving you a free little mini scheme. We're starting a new series here on the channel. Wanted to do some breakdowns and just give you some kind of just a different flavor, if you will, for the summer. Uh, this is something that I've been meaning to do for forever, and honestly, just haven't gotten the haven't gotten around to doing it. And I decided today I want to do it, so let's do it. Um, and basically, what this is is I just wanted to give you guys um, how to build a scheme in Madden, how to build a scheme in Madden, and we're going to actually walk through several different offensive and defensive schemes. This is what I do whenever I'm creating my ebooks. Um, this is what I do whenever I'm creating a, a scheme. Uh, from scratch and I think that there's a lot of value in this series because what it should do is help you not only understand how to create a scheme but why certain things transfer there are certain similarities between bunch and trips tight end there are certain similarities between spread and u trips right the, how the similarities kind of transition um from formation to formation now you can get all of my madden ebooks on the patreon page and this is an abbreviated format of that to try to give you guys the big picture concepts but if you really want some of the most in-depth offensive and defensive ebooks in the community i would really encourage you to join our patreon ten dollars unlocks the whole page and we have over 28 offensive and defensive guides available over there we're going to be releasing some other stuff uh, throughout the summer that i think is going to be really helpful not just for madden 22 but also for when we go into madden 23 so if you want to become a member just drop my best defense of the year um this last week in the big nickel over g so if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down in the description. Okay, guys, so I've been wanting to kind of do something a little different. And we're taking a look today at we're in the Detroit Lions playbook. Um, you guys know that I love the Detroit Lions playbook. It's probably been my favorite. Honestly, I would say I think it's one of the better playbooks in the game. Um, there's a lot of value to this. This is very good. There's some similarities between this and New England. Um, if you're a trips guy, you guys know I run trips. Um, if you're a trips tight end player, uh, you're either running this or you're running New England, generally speaking. Um, the reason I like this is because it has this play X spot. You can't find this play in New England. And also inside zone is a little bit, I think it's actually a better run this year than it was last year. It's a really good run out of this. And then this bubble play is really good as well. But anyways, um, so I'm running trips tight end, but and again, you can get the holy book at the Patreon and all that. But I want to talk today about doubles week. And because this is my first um, formation that I wanted to break down. And so when we talk about creating a scheme in Madden, there's a couple of things that you've got to understand. One of the things that you're going to notice is year in and year out, pass protection is different depending on the game you're playing. For example, last year, you could block your running back and pick up a lot of different blitzing concepts. This year, if you block your running back, is really not that great unless your running back is in a play action blocking animation. What's cool about gun doubles HB week is we can actually have a tight end attached. And we know in Madden 22, especially on next gen, that blocking a tight end is probably the best tactic in the game for being able to pick up consistent pressure. So we can either run some play action or block tight end if we're getting a lot of pressure. If we're not getting a lot of pressure, then you know send five out every time. But if you're having someone that has that blitzing threat, you need to have a formation. This is why doubles HB week is one of my favorite formations year in and year out. What makes this formation so good is you have the running back on the left and the tight end on the right. If we go over to the gun bunch, you're going to see the same thing. The tight end is on the right and the running back is on the left. Now, other formations like trip tight end, they might have something like this, where you have a tight end on the right and the running back is on the right. You can use pass protection out of that but if you notice a lot of times you're going to want to be really taking advantage of the play action because the play action is going to mean that that running back is going to cross block in case you get any edge pressure from the other side so anyways the bottom line is you want to have a play or a formation that um, you want to start with when you're talking about your base formation you need this to be something that has really good pass protection or at least has the ability to pick up pretty much every blitz in the game so again, um, we're talking a little bit today about the five sets for success. We're talking about the first set and that is base formation or base offense. What are you looking for in your base offense? The first thing we're looking for is a, is a good pass protection system. The second thing we're looking for is the ability to attack all angles of the field. So let me give you another, let me give you an example. This play double post is a great play and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video, but this is a, a play that you're looking for. Something like this, a power play. I call them a power play and a counter play. 
a jab, jab, jab play, and then a right hook play when the defense overcommits. So you're looking for something that has a power route or a power play. In this one, we have two of my favorite routes in the game, the super deep crosser that's gonna get over 30 yard clouds, and we have a deep post. We also have blue route. Um, this used to be a little bit more important than it is now, but block and release patterns are always fun to use. And then you have some other stuff. So double post looks like a good candidate for this. When you're looking at a formation, you really ideally want to have um, something that attacks one side of the field, something that attacks another side of the field. So for example, maybe this play sail dig, um, it would be a good example. Now, another thing that we know is we want to also look for routes, number one, that we can't hot route, and number two, that are very powerful in this game, such as the deep post and deep crosser from double post, or these wheels from halfback wheel. You notice the running back wheel is a little different. It also has a tight end wheel from compression. It also has the S post and it has the mesh post um, drag route that's probably one of my favorites in the game. So HB wheel is another great uh, feature. And then of course, corner strike. Corner strike used to be one of the best plays in Madden. It's been kind of slept on in previous years, but this is still a good concept. So we have corner strike, we have Y cross. The one thing we don't have excuse me um the one thing that we don't have is a deep corner route so when you're looking up that doesn't necessarily disqualify the formation but if we take a look at doubles flex week over here this is a very similar formation to doubles hb week it's almost exactly identical the only difference is the slot is on the line of scrimmage and the outside receiver is not so we could even maybe audible into this and run it a little similar so a couple audibles i like to set here or flake or spot PA read I like to use this one as my inside zone run and then we have you know this is where I can kind of get some more generic stuff done that I might not be able to do like motion smash which has a tight end corner and outside hitch um, you could also run the four verticals play um, so you see what I'm saying you're looking for certain routes you're not necessarily looking for not one play generally speaking like one good passing play doesn't have all of the routes that you need right you're going to need to make a couple adjustments at least generally speaking so we're mainly looking for specific routes like a deep corner right a deep corner left or maybe like motion smash it has a deep corner right and a deep corner left so you know then i can take this flanker spot play and i could either you know dit, uh, ditch it or i could use it because i like this hitch route and so you know those are some of the things that you want to think through when you're creating your offense now when you come back over here to doubles hb week our base formation if you notice something if you take a look at the play pa read and you look at this play pa read they look identical they're the same basic concept so that saves me an audible slot i don't have to put pa read in here because i already have something here so i can put double post um in this spot i could put you know let's say i put uh, corner strike in this spot right here inside zone and then we also have this white cross play what's good about this white cross play is there's a uh, automatic about 12 yard in route and a deep cross for the tight end so if you if you don't have hot route master this could be a great option um but as you can see here you're just going to go through whatever you want that we also have this rpo zone alert bubble this is a, a really really good concept that we can kind of come out in situationally so our audibles here we have corner strike double post and then we're going to come out and generally speaking the same play every single time to give us consistency so what i like to do is use the sail dig because it gives me a couple of things i've got a tight end whip route which is one of the best routes in the game i've got a deep dig route another really good route and i've got this little sail route to the left side so i'm going to be rocking with that and then personnel wise where do you want your best players we're going to put our slotomatic guy here we're going to put our best receiver um you could make an argument that you want him over here but because of the routes if you look at where the routes are coming from from this formation generally speaking the left side is got is is the better uh, player so we're gonna put Mike Evans over here Scotty Miller here and Gronkowski here so all of this happens before we ever get on the field and how do you choose a playbook honestly you can make a scheme out of any playbook in the game we're gonna show you that with this series but anyway so what's our base play our base play is HP wheel now how do we find out if it's a good base play I recommend testing it against you know kind of a standard defense like 335 Y and we're gonna test it against all the different coverages including the Mabel coverage and you can obviously here's another thing real quick tip you don't have to run the same play every play and running the same play every play doesn't mean it's actually the same play let me give you an example if I just come out here and drag Scotty Miller, okay, if that's my only adjustment and then I snap the ball, 
I can go and this is going to be a good play. I've got this little mesh, little mesh uh, crossing route here. Really good route. You want to learn the timing on these routes and all that, but you know, I've got some really good options here. This tight end flat route is really good because it's a wheel route. You can actually pass lead it. So if they don't jump the tight end flat route, which they won't uh, typically, unless they're playing hard flats, you can just throw this pass lead outside, rack catch it upfield, and you can see that it can become a, a wide open route for you. You also have this S post on the play. So you'll take a look here. This is cover four. And you're going to see here that because of the cover four drifts, you're going to be able to pass lead that down and inside. And that's a nice user catch option. So you see how we're kind of building the framework for this. Now, when I said about, you know, just because you run a play doesn't mean it's the same play. So how does motion change all of this? What are some motions we can do? When we get on the field, you want to motion receivers and see where they can go. So I could bring Scotty Miller over here to the short side. And now I'm in kind of a, a di little bit of a different version, but similar to Tripp's tight end. So you see, I can motion him over here. I can motion him to the right. Now, what we learned from Trips Tied In is you want to make sure that you're always motioning them left and right to see if there's any other way that they can motion. So if I motion the tight end outside, look where he goes. Now I'm in a spread set, right? If they're not in a blitz, look, I could do something like this. I could also look at this. I can motion the tight end over here. And another thing you always want to check is like, do they get different hot routes? What are some of the cool uh, pieces? So I could do like a little, um, you know, like a little shovel pass like this. I think that's a pretty cool little concept. So just kind of get creative and, and that's really what creating a scheme is all about you want to get creative so here i motion Gowan to the left you see that's going to put him on the line of scrimmage i can't motion evans to the left i can motion Gowan to the right notice that his little route doesn't change so this might be a little a little quick hitting uh flat route that i can hit and then watch it pull the flat zone and now i can throw the wheel so you see how all of this stuff can kind of build um build on itself um, and then again, Mike Evans will just test his motion. And you see here, I can motion this S post right over. This is another really cool tip. You can motion this into a corner route. So now you've got kind of a smash return corner route that you can see is very effective against zone. So those are kind of the bedrocks at least of a formation. And then when we talk about a scheme, we're really talking about the five sets for success, a base formation that can do all the things that I just said, pick up pressure, beat every coverage in the game, be able to be balanced, give you kind of a general picture of what's going on. You need a zone beater or a formation that if they're running a lot of zone coverage or a lot of match coverage, you can go to this formation and it is going to beat it. You need a man-to-man -man beater. If they're just continuing to run man-to-man, -man, what is your plan for man-to-man -man coverage? And then you need a running attack, a three-head rushing attack where you can run the ball to the left, the middle, or the right. And then lastly, in my opinion, you need a base formation or you need a really good formation for match coverage. One of those two, because match is something that has been on the rise um, in the community and uh, which you need to be prepared for that. Now, with all that in mind, the base play is just kind of a play that is, like I said, it's a jab play. It's a power play. So what I like to do with this is I typically, and also notice something else. So if I, uh, one other thing that's really important. So where do you want the ball? So do you want to be on the, do you want your twins to this side? Or do you want your twins to the other side? And you'll see right here why I might say that. Because now Evans is a lot closer and this tight end drag will get out a lot wider based on that situation. Notice I can low ball aggressive catch that just like I can in the other wheel route. So those are all things that you need to think about because an op, you can flip a formation and completely change everything about it, right? Um, so we did something as simple as this. Now you see um, this route to Bernard, one of the best wheel routes in the game. You see how good it is at pulling zone and then we can throw our mesh routes underneath it. So that's cover four, you know, real simple. And I'm just gonna run through the different coverages to make sure you know that this is a good concept. But that's cover four. This, what I like about this S pose is a little bit different than other ones. It's a little bit more like a crossing route. Some S post routes are, um, like I'll give you an example. So if I go over here to the trips tied in S post, take a look at this S post. You're gonna notice that it is a little bit more of a kind of a, especially that top piece. See how that is really topping the route? Now I'm just gonna reset the play and you'll notice a little bit of a difference. There's a lot less of a jab in here and then it's also a little bit more across the formation. So let me give you another base play for this. This is a pretty good one. We're gonna block the tight end. 
we're going to um, take Godwin and we're going to put him. You can leave him actually on his route if you want to. It's because against man he'll cross and then you can do it like this. Or what you can also do is you know you could just do something simple like a running back out and then a motion slant. Just something simple like this, right? Really simple. It's the same play, but it's a completely different play. And what you'll see here is this S post does a really good job at beating every coverage in the game, especially if you pair it with a, uh, a clear out route like a streak. Now, uh, something else I wanted to show just for fun is another thing you want to test about your routes is how far do they go, especially these S posts, how far do they go before they stop running? So you'll see here, um, he's going to run, 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 run. And then eventually he's, he's, yeah, he stops at the numbers on the opposite hash from the short side of the field. Now, if I were to put the ball on this hash, you'll notice that this guy can, um, you know, continue to run. So I'll show you an example here. So let's say, you know, we do this and maybe we do a hitch. Maybe we do this. This is a really good play. Now this guy's got a lot of space to work out over here on the solo side. But anyways, what you'll see is this post, he stopped right about the numbers last time. You see he stops right about the same spot. So we now know with pretty decent confidence, he's going to run just before the numbers is where we need to be at least releasing the ball. So you'll see right here. If I, if I do this right, you'll see I'm going to throw the ball right about here, and now that's going to get him all the way over here, which is a really good place to be for being able to beat zone coverage. Now, you also want to make sure you're asking yourself the question, does this beat man-to-man? -man? So we're going to test this against man-to-man. -man. Notice that this little drag gets really good separation, even though he, his route ability actually didn't light up. Even though slot automatic, you would think that would light up. It didn't. But the route, the route itself... Um, did get some separation so you see boom and then this S post is gonna get open once he crosses the face of the of the safety which I'll show that real quick and again we're just dragging um, we're just dragging circle here so we've got a nice little mesh and then we've got this and you notice that I can click on aggressive catch that so you see how I'm kind of testing this stuff against all kinds of different things now one of the best tips about this about this is what i'm about to show you out of this is why i love this play so what you'll see right here is just it, this is the cover three mabel watch triangle you see him settle up and hitch he becomes and this is why i like mesh this is why this is probably my favorite play in the history of the game the meta of what most people most people want to do in madden 22 is they want to play either man or they want to play this coverage right here where they're and we know that they're going to have to go use or the the deep post because we can literally throw it against everything so now you get them in a situation where the whole middle of the field is left wide open and you can just dump it down to your mesh routes um, and that's another th another reason why these wheel routes are so good now another adjustment that you might consider and again you don't have to do this but test this running back wheel out if this running back wheel is not something you want to do, maybe don't use it. Maybe use something else. You see, it's a little bit out, a little bit more um, longer developing of a wheel route. So you also want to test that against man match, all that stuff. So here's the running back wheel against man to man. When he cuts, you're gonna see here that it kind of gets him in a different position. But did you notice something else that we saw? We see a natural pick from the mesh play. And what I mean by a natural pick from the mesh play is you'll see I can actually a lot of times you see, you see how he can kind of get over the top of that um, and we have to understand what are they gonna do right so they're gonna use or this guy and this guy's gonna go into man coverage on your running back more than likely or they're gonna blitz him but anyways um, you're gonna see here now that route is really good because I can lowball it inside whereas with the middle linebacker on him he had a little bit more inside leverage so you see all of these things as factors in your base play um, so you might want to rewheel him. Why would you want to rewheel him? Just because it's going to give you a little bit more of a sharper, uh, a sharper wheel route kind of thing. Uh, you know, and then when the play breaks down, what's your plan? You know, what's your, what's your plan when the play breaks down? I think that's a really important question to ask. And then lastly, how does this do against the meta blitzes? So something like this, for example, what is my quick read? What is my quick read against the blitz? Well, where's the user going to be? He's going to be right there. So what can I do? I got a little snap throw right here. That's what's so cool about halfback wheel. 
this is something we actually this is coming from some labbing that I did on a route for the gun bunch actually and this is a Y curl kind of a similar wheel route to the play Y curl so if they don't you know there's a lot of value in that wheel route um, and then again you got your tight end on the other side so you know you could even do something like this if you if you wanted to you could do something like this um, just put that out right out there and now every zone in the game is going to get held and you're going to see that's going to come wide open we also talked about how vert hooks so let's say if they're playing vertical hooks how does that pair so we know vertical hooks can play uh, wheel routes a little better so we want to test how does this vertical uh, hook well you see it gets sucked in by the drag so the point is everything in Madden is testing um, concepts in practice mode and then taking them to the game and when you have a basic framework for how you want to do your testing it can save you a lot of time it could be a lot of fun and you can create something completely from scratch this is just one play HB will drag the circle receiver but I'm telling you from this one play I can create so many different setups that are gonna be very very good in this game I've got a nice snap throw the running back I can throw the tight end too this is very similar to bunch with how this will practically play out because we have two really good flat routes um, probably two of the best flat routes in the game and then we also have the little mesh drags we got one of them hitching up we got one of them crossing every single time and then we've got this nice little user catch post that will get underneath the deep zones and you can aggressive catch it so great concept here, halfback wheel. If you want to learn more about this scheme, I'm going to be doing some more videos on this on this little double uh, scheme from Detroit. Uh, but I would really encourage you um, to check this out. Try this out for yourself. Whatever formation is, you want to check it out. But this is our free doubles HB week mini scheme here from the Detroit Lions part one. This is just kind of an introduction and breaking down one of our mini based uh, setups.